Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to design gravity steel columns in the RAM Structural System RAM Steel Column Design Module. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to design gravity steel columns, which will include the process for entering the gravity column design criteria, customize the trial group defaults, and then we will show you how to design the gravity steel columns and review the results. The RAM steel column design module performs a gravity analysis on all steel columns in the model based on the tributary area and loading applied to each column. In this training course, we are going to be designing the steel gravity columns for a model that's already been created in the RAM structural system. In addition, all of the gravity beams have already been sized through the RAM steel beam design module. You are now ready in your workflow to design the steel columns. So from the RAM manager screen, we will access RAM steel column through the design toolbar at the left of your RAM manager screen. Before performing the design on your steel columns, it is important to enter your steel column design criteria, especially the first time that you enter RAM steel column for your particular structure. Through the steel column design criteria menu, we can enter our steel design code, our design defaults, our bracing configurations, and the base plate criteria. In the RAM steel column design module, we will now go up to the criteria menu to start specifying the appropriate information for our model, starting with our steel design codes. In the column base plate steel design codes dialog, we will now enter the appropriate design code to be used when optimizing or designing our steel columns and also our gravity base plates. For this particular training, we are going to be using the AISC 36010 LRFD code for both the gravity steel column design and the base plates. When specifying your appropriate design code, we will click OK. And then if a warning dialog pops up, we will acknowledge this change by clicking Yes. Now we will return to the criteria menu to select our next criteria, which is our design defaults. Through the column design defaults dialog, we can enter the maximum angle from column axis at which beam reaction is not split between the column size for calculating unbalanced moments, and we will leave this to the default of 30 degrees. We can also specify whether or not you want to skip load the live load around each column and we will leave this selected as well. Once you enter your column design defaults information, we'll go ahead and click OK. Next, we will enter our bracing criteria. So we'll go back to our criteria menu and select the bracing option. Here we can enter our global bracing criteria for each column. We can say whether or not the deck braces the column or does not brace the column, and we can enter the maximum angle from the column axis from which a beam is considered to brace that particular column. For this training, we will say that our deck does brace our column and that we're going to allow the maximum angle to be 60 degrees. Once you specify all of your criteria, we can accept it by clicking OK. We are now ready to specify our base plate criteria. If we return to our criteria menu, we will now select the base plates option. The base plate design defaults dialog will help RAM steel column determine the size of each base plate. And RAM steel column can determine the base plate size for your typical standard base supported vertical gravity columns. Here we can enter the yield plate the yield strength for your plate material, the concrete competitive strength of the foundation system that those base plates will be so supported on, 
and also all of the size parameters are going to be used to optimize each base plate. We can also choose whether or not you would like the base plates to be forced to be square or not and we will go ahead and select this checkbox. Once entering all of your base plate information we can go ahead and click OK. In addition to specifying your global model criteria there are several items available through this assigned model which can be signed to columns on an individual basis and these would include some specific bracing criteria that can be assigned to individual columns if you would like to override that global bracing criteria that we just specified. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.